I shall all mock him. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakah Kadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the true name of his only begotten Son. I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and honors and citations to the elect Dachim doing these works in sincerity and in truth. Alright, and um Yeah man, and this lesson man, because I was pretty much meditating on the road. You know, after camp, you know, I'm just meditating on how really we got to be cold hearted, man. You know, as a matter of fact, we have to pray to be cold hearted. Okay. We have to actually pray to how about to remain cold hearted. And that's something that we got to pray for continually, man. <clears throat> All right. Because the times we coming in is not for the faint of heart. It's not for, um, you know, a guy that who thinks he can be saved by helping an old lady across the street. You know, a tender-hearted gentleman. Those guys are all finished in that day. That's just a fairy tale, man. Okay, in reality and in truth, we have to pray to be cold-hearted as fuck, man. Okay? Excuse my language for saying it like that, but it's all it all comes with the territory, man. All right, the scriptures say is uh, uh, Exodus three and fifteen, or Exodus fifteen and three. The Lord is a man of war. Okay, what's war all about? War is about not pitying anybody. You know, war is about having your brothers' backs. Okay, putting people to death, man. That's the type of guy that Yahweh Bashma Shai is, man. So I'm going to start at the point, Matthew 24 and 8, matter of fact. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Right, so towards all these sorrows that's coming, we have to pray to be cold-hearted about it, man. You see that? We can't give a shit about the judgment that falls upon two-thirds of our people and upon these heathen. We cannot care for their feelings, man. Okay, straight up. They're two-thirds for a reason. It's already written that they're going to be destroyed in gruesome, horrific, terrible fashions. So if you a uh, 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 a so-called nice guy, which look into that word nice on the online etymology, you ain't going to make it. Yeah, look up the word nice on the online etymology and watch what comes up. Nice guys ain't gonna make it, man. We gotta be cold hearted, man. We gotta pray to be cold hearted, man. And to not give a shit about anybody's feelings except for the elect. And that's the balance. As much as we pray to be cold hearted to two thirds and to a damn sure to the heathen, is on the flip side is how much love and compassion and mercy we have to have. For the hopeful elect, okay, for us brothers, that's in the truth, that's right. If you how about my shot, that's the balance. So, verse 9 then they shall deliver you up to be afflicted. You see, so they hate you anyway. Two thirds of our people hate you anyway, they hate you. How about my shot anyway, man? That's why Yahweh Shah himself said, They would not that I reign over them. Bring hither and slay them before me. You got to be cold-hearted to do that, man. But Lord, you sure? Like, can you just give him another chance? You know what I'm saying? Is he he's sorry, right? Right, you sorry, uh, Jamal? Jamal, tell me you sorry, man. No, man, we cannot spare their feelings. We cannot care about their feelings. Nothing like that. Yahweh Shah said, bring them in and slay them before me. We got to be cold-hearted enough to do it, man. Like, what, you don't want the Lord to reign over you? Box, slay it, chop the fucking head off in one clean sweep. You know? That, and that's the scriptures, man. So, you know, Lord willing, I don't get a strike for this, man. I'm already on my second page, man. You know? But I know, you know, brothers is on way more pages than that. You know, but I, you know? You know, I don't know what it is. But, uh, verse 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. 
and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake of all nations you see that so what we look like caring about somebody and how they fucking feel man you know verse 10 and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many and because iniquity shall abound the love of many shall wax cold you see and you already got a lot of cold hearted uh, Edomites out here who hates who hate you niggas hate you spicks hate you tree niggas but guess what because it's going to get even more and more crazy more of them are going to turn into that more of them are going to show the true nature more of our people are going to become more heartless in two thirds but guess what we got to be the king of them we got to be the king of cold hearted mother effers okay we got to be the king of cold hearted mother effers man I was watching the brother uh, Kazak in his lesson like two days ago or whatever you know, one thing he mentioned is like, yeah, you know, we know, we know, um, you hate us. We hate you too. We hate you more. All right. We're going to show you the king, the kings of cold heartedness, man. Right. In the spirit of Pai Abash Rashai, when all hell breaks loose and when we're in the kingdom, we ain't doing shit now. But prophesying. We're going to show you the king of it, man. Because guess what? Yahweh Shai, the Most High, is a terrible power. Yahweh Shai is his son, so how you think he is? We're joint is with Yahweh Shai, so how you think we gonna be? All right? Micah chapter 5, verse 15. And I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathen, such as they have not heard. Okay? So, right? We gotta pray to be co hearted. Now, nah, I'ma just. I could dig for it, but I'm gonna just uh, search it because it's quicker. Um, couple scriptures, couple more scriptures come to mind. Yup, Proverbs chapter three, verse twenty-five. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. Right, because sudden fear, you know, has a chance of kicking in when these things actually finally go down. But Yahweh Shema Shah said, hey, remain calm. Be not afraid of that. But also, don't be afraid of the desolation of the wicked. Okay, meaning the destruction. When all the destruction and, and the craziness happens, begin to happen to our people, they're getting put to death left and right. They die in a famine, die in a pestilence, evil beasts. We, we not, we're not even supposed to be shooken up by that, man. Now, how cold is that? How cold is that? <laughs> so, hey, all praise and glory to you. How about Shema Shai? That's bad, man. You know? I was just in a store the other day. And Michael Jackson came on. You know, he's like, who's bad? You know? Oh, I forgot the lyrics, but all I remember, all I remember that part was like, he was like, who's bad? You know? So who's really bad, man? Is it tough um, Jim Edomite guys? Is it Jake on the block? Is it um, Jarheads? Who's really bad? We gonna see, man. Or is it the men of the Lord? Or is it Yahweh Shemal Shah? The king of terrors. Which is mentioned, it's a, it's a uh, terrible thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Who's really bad, man? We gonna see. Okay. So, hey, us brothers get a head start now. Pray to be cold hearted now. Be going off if you're caring about people's feelings, man. Even with, even with women. Even with women. Because the scriptures say what? If she would not go thy way, cut her off from thy flesh. Meaning if she's too much of a headache, she's too exhausting, she's too stressful. You know what? All right. Yeah, you might care about your uh, lady or whatever, but you know what? All right, that's it. Have a nice day. Have a nice life. And we can't care about their feelings either. 
You know? I mean, uh, what scripture that come out? Right? I believe it's in Jeremiah. Yep, Jeremiah 7 and 16, which reads, Therefore, pray not thou for this people. Man, now how cold is that? I ain't even gonna pray for you. So how much more are we, like, like the balance, the balance beam. If we so cold, cold hearted enough to not even pray for you people and the things that you're going through, you always gotta look at the flip side, how much more should we be praying for the whole full life? You see a brother um, going through something or this or that. Come on, pray for that brother, man. Pray not to forget about certain things. Because your spirit could want to pray, but um, you could just have a forgetful mindset. Pray not to forget. Scripture say you receive not because you ask not. Right? Continuing on. Neither lift up a cry nor prayer for them. Damn. So don't even shed a tear for them. Don't even make, don't even prep your, your your tongue to say something to the Lord for them. That's cold. <laughs> That's cold, man. That is cold. They're going to be eating their children. And the Lord don't even want us to utter, utter nothing out of our mouth to help them out. That's cold, man. Says, um. With hey, I don't got, I don't got a, I'm not saying that I have a problem with it. I agree with everything Al Bashmashah says. You know? Who the fuck am I to, uh, not? <laughs> you know? So it says, uh, neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear thee. You wasting your breath. Use that breath on the prayer for the elect, for yourself. You know, for your family, if it be the Lord's will. You know, so that's pretty much it. Okay, we gotta be cold hearted in this truth, man. It's the only way. Um, we gonna get by. Matter of fact, hey, oh praise the Lord, Tiawa Shmashai. I pray the scriptures just keep coming out. Right? Cold heartedness, right? Uh Job chapter five, verse twenty-two. At destruction and famine. Thou shalt laugh. Okay? So when all the destruction is happening. Oh yeah, do 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 outside your window. Niggas is shooting shooting at each other. That's destruction, man. Bombs going off, rocket launches, buildings blowing up. You know? Screams and cries. That all comes with destruction. I was watching a, uh, 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 um, I was watching a, um, little documentary out there in Syria, and a guy, he saw his wife get blown in smithereens, and it literally turned him into a, a, a baby, not literally, of course, but it turned him into a baby, man, I meaning he couldn't walk, he couldn't speak no more, he was shooken up, his, uh, his, his kids had to take care of him, I believe he was wearing diapers, and he's, he had to wear pampers, he just lost it. And we're going to be laughing at a guy like that in that day. Because that's what comes with destruction. Now, if that's not cold, man. So it's at destruction of famine, thou shalt laugh. And what? And famine? Damn, that's serious, man. Famine is serious, man. Famine is serious, man. Because the scriptures say, better than they that get slain with the sword than to die of a famine. But guess what? We're going to be laughing at you, man. Okay, and rightfully so, because you got scoffers, you got people that want to put us to death, okay, and so forth, man, but yeah, I'm ending it off with that, man, you know, just pray to be cold-hearted, because that's the only way we're going to survive in these times, man, you know, you know, of course, you know, the knowledge and wisdom, how the scriptures say, knowledge and shall be the stability of our times, and faith, because it's an impossible to please the Lord without faith, but also, 
cold to be cold hearted. I'm gonna feel sorry for not one of these motherfuckers, man. As prideful as they are, stink guys' attitudes, man, especially the women. Thinking they hot shit, thinking they, you know, thinking they that bitch or whatever. Man, as much pride as these dudes are, we ain't gonna feel sorry for you, man. But again, that's bright burn. But again, that's bright burn, man. When we receive spiritual powers, we ain't gonna pity. We ain't gonna feel sorry, man. I, hey, Ezekiel 94. On down. We're not gonna pity or feel sorry for y'all, man. Rightfully so. Alright, so be cold hearted, man. Don't care about no bitches' feelings. Don't care about uh, no damn two thirds' feelings. Or nothing, man. Alright, so shalom.